There was a Kingfish in town on Tuesday at the Troy Softball Complex in the form of the number one team in the country in Florida State. The Knowles took both games of the doubleheader from Troy, but head coach Beth Mullins was pleased with the performances of her pitchers. Both of our pitchers threw complete games, and I thought we had a lot of really solid innings on the mound, and we had some solid innings on offense. We just, you know, couldn't put the two games together. Rachel Rigney Brown went seven strong in the first game, and in the second game, it was Claire Graves that went seven innings, giving up only two runs. Coach Mullins commented specifically on Claire's performance. Yeah, I thought she threw well. I mean, her velocity was up. I mean, she had a couple, you know, instances where she kind of lost command, but I, you know, we've worked all year on her being a one-pitch warrior, and I think that's what makes her great is she can have one bad batter, and then she's going to come back and dominate the next pitch. So One of the things that the Trojans say in their post-inning huddles is fight, and that's something Mullins saw from her team even when facing two difficult pitchers. Yeah, I think, you know, we're, we're facing two a really good pitching staff on the opposing team, and, you know, weren't able to string some, but give them credit. I mean, they held our offense, and I thought Claire did a great job, and it was a really good game. I mean, who wouldn't want to see a 2 nothing ball game against, you know, the top team in the country? And, you know, we're going to have to take some of the great things we did today and bring them into this weekend against a really good App State team. Though the Trojans dropped both games tonight, Coach Mullen said that she was very pleased with the fight her team displayed. And that fight comes as a result of the consistency that her team has shown the last two weeks. I think the last couple of weeks we've been pretty consistent. I mean, the results haven't gone our way every time, but I think we've, you know, on the mound, we've really been solid with all four pitchers. And, you know, our offense has had a lot better at bats than we did in the middle of the year. So they're fighters. And I mean, we have had a lot of adversity this year. So, you know, we're going to be great at dealing with adversity. And I think they did a good job today. And I have no doubt we're going to have more adversity that's going to hit us in the next three weeks, and we'll be fine. The Trojans will be at home again this weekend for a Sunbelt Conference matchup against Appalachian State. Jamal Kennedy, Troy, Trojan Vision Sports.